Composition is arguably one of the hardest things to get right about photography. You can learn all the basics of photography pretty quickly, but composition is the thing that takes a lot of time and work. In this video, I'm gonna share three techniques that help me to take my composition from beginner to pro. Let me show you what I mean. If you stick around to the end of the video, I'll be sharing a little trick to help you get that composition just right. So the first bit of advice I'd give is don't get your tripod off straight away. When you first get at your scene and you're kind of looking for what you want your composition to be, getting your tripod off straight away kind of sticks you to one spot as you arrive at the scene and just look around handheld, maybe even take some handheld shots. That'll help you to see your composition from a few different angles and give you the freedom of movement you need to find the exact spot that you want. On a bright sunny day like today, taking handheld shots is fine anyway. But because I want the water to be as smooth as possible, it's quite wavy, this water at the moment. I want to do a long exposure, so I will have to use my tripod here, annoyingly. But by making sure that I look for my composition first before I take my picture and before I set my tripod down, that gives me the best opportunity to actually hone in on that composition and get it right straight away rather than take a picture with a tripod, move everything across, take another picture. It not only saves time, it makes it a much, much nicer experience as well. So the really great thing about going handheld first before you get your tripod off is that you very quickly spot things that are gonna ruin your shot before you've got your tripod out. So for example, I need to be really close to the edge of this lake. If you look here, these reeds here at the edge of the lake are an absolute pain in the backside because they're so tall that they encroach on the frame. So I need to be really close to this edge of the water so that I can fit all this in without catching these reeds in. Being shouted at by these geese. Hello. Good morning. I've got nothing for you. I haven't even had my breakfast yet. I haven't got my camera anymore. That would have been a lovely shot of these geese coming across. Even if they are ruining my video. So the good thing about getting the money shot as soon as you arrive is that the pressure is off now. I'm just go on a walk, try and find some more compositions. But because I've already got a good photo, this morning has already been worth it. I love it when a plan comes together. So the next bit of composition advice I'd give you is to simplify your image specifically when it comes to the edges of your frame. Now, this is something I see beginners do all the time. A big mistake that they make is that they're concentrating so much on the subject that's in the center of their frame. They forget to look what's around the edge of the frame. So here, for example, I'm framing my subject with these lovely beech trees, the birch trees, sorry, that are on the edge of this lake. Now they can frame it really well if you get it right. For example, if I do this, give it all enough space to breathe, get a picture and creates a frame around my subject. Whereas if I was just trying to fill the frame of my subject and zoom in a little bit, and it wasn't concentrating on the edges of my frame, you just end up with very messy edges that don't actually complement your picture. By just giving it that little bit more room and using the edges to frame it rather than letting them encroach on my picture, it makes it a much, much nicer image. This is sort of an either or situation either include the edges as a frame or completely cut them out and just hone in on your subject. That way your composition will look a lot cleaner. This is one of the things I love most about Snowdonia National Park. Here we've got mountains here on this side of me. And then over here, in fact, let me get you a bit closer. We have got the sea out there. I don't know if you can see it. Honestly, it's kind of a case of just, I'm in focus, yeah. It's kind of a case of just point your camera in a direction and you'll probably have something to take a picture of. <laughs> it's in, well, if you've got the conditions just right, Snowdonia National Park is absolutely 
one of the most beautiful places in the world. I know we do get a lot of bad weather, but when things are just right, then I don't think there's actually anywhere I'd rather be for photography. Don't hold me to that. I might do some traveling one day and I might change my mind. <laughs> but for now, I can't believe that this is like an hour away from where I live. Absolutely beautiful. So the next bit of advice I'd give you is to take lots of pictures, especially if you're a beginner. Now, I don't mean lots of pictures of the same frame over and over and over again. Your same composition, but every time you take a picture, get a little bit tighter and simplify it just a little bit because that gives you lots of options. Excuse me while this quad bike goes past. You see, when you're a beginner, you think you can get your composition, you take your picture and you move on which can work sometimes. Sometimes you will get it right first time. But often what you'll find is if you take a picture and then think, right, what can I do to simplify this? Take another picture. What can I do to simplify this? Take another picture. You'll probably find that maybe your first one was good, but maybe your fifth one was even better. The thing is, if you haven't got those simplified pictures, you haven't got that option. There's nothing worse than getting home, looking at your raw file in Lightroom and think, oh, if I had just cut this bit in a little bit more, or if I had zoomed into there. Because the good thing about digital cameras is that as long as you've got the space on your card, you can take as many pictures as you want and just delete the ones that are rubbish. You can't create ones that aren't there though. We should go a new bag, by the way. I wanted to try out a new uh, minimalist setup. So it's, uh, one a sling that I can just swing around and use right in front of me without having to take it off. I bought it mainly for street photography because I'm planning on doing a bit more of that this summer if we get really harsh mornings and evenings again because uh, trying to get golden hour photography in the summer, as you know, is really difficult. So uh, street photography is the sort of thing that's good for summer. And I wanted something I didn't have to take off. I'm going to do a review on this, but uh, so far, pretty impressed. It can hold quite a bit, pretty much all my camera gear and my video gear that I need. Not everything, but everything that I need to do a video and I just wanted to test it out today. But so far, pretty impressed. If you're interested in me doing a review of it, then uh, let me know down in the comments. I'd be happy to oblige. Well, this is precarious. Hmm. Let's try how I feel about this. Nope, 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 nope. Nope, 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 not when I'm on my own. Might not look it on the camera, but uh, that is very steep, jagged and slippery. If I was with somebody else, maybe, but not today. I have a wife and daughter to think about. And of course, my wife's gonna see this video, so uh, I'll be in big trouble if I try and climb up there. Sorry, darling. Turn it around. Right, this picture doesn't count because it's not actually compositionally good. I just really like the layers that the haze is creating. The light's gone really harsh now because uh, it's quite late in the morning and we're approaching summer. So uh, golden hour is well past. But that doesn't mean the pressure's off. I can just take pictures for the sake of it now. But as one last little uh, bonus sort of trick I would teach you, I wouldn't call it a technique or even a tip. I call it a trick because it's kind of cheated when it comes to composition is if you're struggling to think of how you can compose a scene, think of it like a scale on a weight. So imagine the picture is balanced on your finger and you want all the elements in that photo to balance each other out. So say your photo is too heavy on this side, it'll fall off this side. If it's too heavy on this side, it'll fall off that way. But if your composition is balanced, then it, the picture would balance on your finger nicely. Now there's different ways of interpreting that and that's not a foolproof way of getting a good composition, but it really helped me to think about if I was looking at a really simple scene, for example, balancing a tree with the sunrise, thinking of how I could balance those two elements by imagining the picture balancing on my finger, meant that I could get those compositions right really early. The main way though, that you can get your composition right and progress is purely through practice. It really is one of those things where it can only come through experience. And if you're an inexperienced photographer, then composition is hard. It's supposed to be. That's the thing that will take you from being a beginner to a pro. And that's also why photography never gets boring because it's always a challenge. I'll see you next time. 
Hello? Huh? 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 There we are. I've had my conversation for the morning.